that was just one sound bite from that interview with Brian Enton. Uh, Todd Chrisley's daughter, uh, Savannah Chrisley, has been her parents' greatest advocate. She joins us right now live on Morning in America. First of all, good morning. Second of all, I have to say, I, along with so many others, watch y'all show all the time. Just thought it was so funny and was shocked when all of this came down. So can we just address what your father says first in that soundbite where he says that there was a blackmail attempt where somebody sent you pictures to try to get money from y'all? Yes, yes. Good morning. Um, it's been quite the ride. I have gotten numerous messages. I got one message that he was beaten in the shower and he was in the emergency room. I got another message uh, about the blackmail, $2,600. It was a photo of my father sleeping. And it just continues to go on and on and on. And even the prison cannot guarantee his safety. He's not allowed to do things that other inmates are allowed to do. He's not allowed to be on certain parts of the campus. It's just, it's difficult. In terms of the conditions inside the prison, when did you find out about this? How often are you talking to your parents? It's not just your dad, but your mom is also looking at pretty disgusting conditions, correct? Yes, that's correct. I speak to them every single day. Um, I've actually seen firsthand myself when I've been at visitation, the conditions. I mean, the women's bathroom was flooded, the floors, you're walking in like in water to go to the bathroom. And this is just the visitor's bathroom. So I've also received information from correctional officers that work at my father's facility of photos and videos. There are bugs crawling on the walls. The food is expired a year past the expiration. Um, so, it, I mean, it just never stops. You have been talking about these conditions on your Unlocked podcast. Uh, you talked about uh, your parents having heat strokes, ending up in the hospital. You talked about the food being just not edible. Uh, what exactly do you want done or what can you do? What are you feeling empowered to do to change conditions inside? Because I'm sure there are a lot of people who are saying prison's not supposed to be nice. It's not supposed to be glamorous. Yes, without a doubt. I don't expect this to be a Four Seasons, but I do expect for you to have your bare necessities, such as clean drinking water. My mother does not even have that. Um, the, a correctional officer tested the water there and drugs showed up in the water. So you don't have clean drinking water. There's black mold, asbestos, lead-based paint. And at the end of the day, we're judged how we treat our prisoners. So I'm just asking for the bare minimum. And when you know better, you do better. And at this point, I know the conditions. I know what these men and women are suffering. And now they're signing up for a life sentence. They may only be serving five years, but with the conditions, God only knows what they're going to leave with. Yeah, and, and I know that I read uh, in People, which quoted our News Nation interview, uh, that your father's expected to get out right now in 2033. Your mom is expected to get out in 2028. Is that correct? You know, I don't even pay attention to those numbers because I'm trying to have faith in something bigger. We do have the ongoing appeal, which we were granted oral arguments in. Only 6% of cases in the 11th Circuit get granted oral arguments. So for that, that is a win for us, and that's what I'm looking forward to. So those dates mean absolutely nothing to me at this point in time. Well, you y'all are a family of faith. I keep saying y'all. I can't help it. My grandfather's from Georgia, so you just bring it out of me there. Uh, but... I, I know that you all believe in God and are using your faith in this process. You've all said that this is, is it a big misunderstanding? Was it hiring the wrong people? Because innocence is something that has been you know, clear throughout that you all have said, we are innocent of these crimes. Without a doubt, I think it's putting your trust in the wrong people. My dad's former CFO who had an immunity deal with the government, uh, he testified for the government and he was their key witness. You also had IRS agents lying on the stand and the prosecutors admitted to that after the fact. So I think also the government overreach, No, we're no stranger to it. Uh, we had huge Fourth Amendment violations to where they illegally seized a warehouse, went in with a search warrant that was never even signed off on by a judge. So I think just the government overreach along with hiring the wrong people has led us to where we're at. But I also believe that God has put us in this place because I was tone deaf to the system. I had no idea. But God has put us in this place now to where we know better, we do better. And now I can be a voice for the over 2 million people that are incarcerated today. One more quick question. I know you have custody of your younger brother and your niece, so your life has radically changed with your parents being in prison. Do you believe there will be that reality show in the works that was rumored to have happened over the course of the saga that this has become? 
Yes, so Chloe, who is my sister, by law, she was adopted. Uh, so Chloe and Grayson, our whole family will be doing a reality show. We've partnered with Scout Productions, and um, it is in negotiations now with a network, and the writer strike really just kind of messed up a lot of those things. Timeline's been pushed, but it is happening. All right, well, we appreciate it coming straight from the source. Thank you so much, Savannah, for being here with us. And we want to re remind people that you do have your podcast unlocked with Savannah Chrisley. People can watch or rather listen to that wherever podcasts are available. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.